give our praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, um, coming at y'all with a quick lesson. All right, and uh, this is going to be centered around the RFID microchip. All right, uh, we got a few articles, and we're just going to basically bring them out and um, bring out some a uh, couple precepts as well. All right, so this is off of black, blacklistednews.com. One company wants to implant microchips into the hands of hundreds of thousands of global workers. All right, it says uh, it is really happening. All right, as a matter of fact, get a Habakkuk 2 and 3. Since, um, you know, they said, they said it's really happening. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures tell you that it's happening. Go yeah. ahead. It's Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. It says, for the, vi for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. That's right. At the end it shall speak and not lie. So, yeah, it is, it is really happening. Okay. All right? This, this prophecy is coming to pass. Mm -hmm. A lot of these people that write these articles, they know the prophecy. Mm -hmm. Okay? They know about the, mark of the, the mark of the beast and how, you know, in Revelations, it, it, you know, Revelations 13, 16, you know, they know these things. Keep going. It says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. That's right. And it will mm -hmm. surely come. So these prophecies have will come to pass, and they have to come to pass because the Lord is bound to his word. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep reading. It says, at one time, the idea that large numbers of people, oops, damn. I don't know. I clicked on the ad. It's like you. All right. So it says, uh, at one time, the idea that large numbers of people would willingly allow themselves to have microchips implanted into their hands seemed a bit crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, what you got, uh, Nate? Yeah. Nate oh, constantly saying, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. You know? Crazy. Two, it's June. Ain't no microchips. Mm -hmm. Basically saying, you know, we crazy for saying that. Hey, they just show, they just show them that, that these, um, these people that have patience, man. You know, because the scripture says, wait for it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so like the apostles and the elders, they've been pushing the microchip, microchip this whole time, man. You know, so that shows the patience that, that the elders have and the apostles have, man. That's right, brother. So it says, uh, but now it has become a reality. All right. And, you know, that's going to be what's going to happen to a lot of you people. A lot of you people that aren't listening to what we're saying or aren't taking heed to what we're saying. You know, you may not see it right now. Mm -hmm. But it says, but now it has become a reality. So our reality is going to be everyone's reality very soon. Yeah. Okay. It says thousands of tech enthusiasts all across Europe have already had microchips implanted. And now a Swedish company is working with very large global employers to implement mm -hmm. this on a corporate level. In fact, Biohacks recently told one of the biggest newspapers in the UK that they have been talking with a major financial services firm mm -hmm. that hundreds of thousands of employees, uh, let me see, oh, that has hundreds of thousands of employees, it's like it. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's a lot of people. Yeah, and they're, they're yeah. already willing, uh, probably already got that chip, man. Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, it shows you that not only is, is the chip, I mean, the chip is going to be worldwide, mm -hmm. okay? And they're rolling this thing out in other places of the world. You know, they're they're getting this thing going. Their their agenda is 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 starting to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to jump in, brother? Come, Come. yeah. So um, I'm gonna keep reading. It says uh, Biohacks, a Swedish company that provides human chip implants, told the Telegraph it was in talks with a number of UK legal and financial firms. To implant staff with devices, you know, it says one prospective client, which cannot be named, is a major financial services firm with hundreds of thousands of employees. All right. And it just it pretty much reiterated that. Um, but I also want to go through this. And uh, basically the, the market for RFID is rising. OK, mm -hmm. the industry of RFID chips is is on a tremendous rise. Mm -hmm. And if I could just say, too, before it. you bring that out, mm -hmm. 
And we even see it on a lower level because we, like the brothers always say, we we they're transitioning away from from the dollar, man. You know, bro, um, people rarely have cash anymore. You know, it's always um, um, technology using um, for uh, trans for um, exchange. yeah exchanges. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's on a lower level, just showing that the chip is already here, man. Yeah. You know, we're not to be honest, we're waiting for it, but it's still already here. Yeah, you already have uh, different legislation that already is passed in the books. Mm -hmm. It's uh you know in rule for uh, microchipping people. You have. Uh, the Rockefeller that actually talked to Aaron Russo and he spoke about chipping individuals. Mm -hmm. And this is the same individual that actually, or, or the same family that started the social security market where each and every one of these indiv individuals, including ourselves, have social security numbers. Okay. And before that whole social security system, you know, got pushed, you know, you had to have uh, a, a men that actually conspired together, mm -hmm. have talks, figure out how to uh, implement Try, do trial runs on city for city to the point it became uh, mandated to the point where everybody has social security now and it's going to mm -hmm. be the same thing with the RFID chip yeah because that ID you know RFID standing for radio, fre radio frequency identification that ID stands for identification mm -hmm. so that's going to be their new way of, of identifying everyone you know just like the brother went into social security that's a form of ID yeah. That's a number that is attached to to your person, you know, and um, RFID is the is to them. It's it's the bridge between, uh, uh, you know, personal identification and and technology. Mm -hmm. OK, it's the bridge because you, you really can't hack, you know, you, you really can't. It's foolproof. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, in their eyes, it's, it's foolproof. You know, because, uh, you know, the only way that you can uh, uh, use someone else's ID or, or you know, uh, commit fraudulent activity with the chip is if you, you have to cut someone's damn hand off. Yeah. You know, that's the only way you're going to do it. But this is uh, the market for the RFID. And then we'll, uh, did you have any precepts? I just want to say something really kind. fast because you were speaking about hacking and it's mm -hmm. the spirit because I actually did a lesson uh, the other day. With, they was talking about actually hacking brain implants. I'm just going to bring this out and I'm going to talk that to you. But it says, hackers will soon be able to manipulate people's memory through brain implants. Mm -hmm. So, and, and in this article, which I'm going to uh, jump into a couple of points, but they're basically speaking about how uh, the market of things is going to transition to implant implantations and you're going to have these different, uh, you know, ways of actually individuals actually hacking your, your brain. Mm -hmm. You know, and actually uh, enhancing it, because really with the chip, they're gonna use it not only for buying and selling it. They're gonna use it actually. Uh, matter of fact, it says this quick, quick point. What it says: the hardware and software to underpin this exist too. The researcher note: neural stimulators connect the implants that can target and stimulate the brain to mm -hmm. restore its functions are being used to address the symptoms of Parkinson's disease mm -hmm. and even depression. Mm -hmm. It's not a huge leap for these devices to become memory prothesis. Five years from now, we may be able to electronically record the brain signals that build memories and then enhance or even rewrite them before putting them back in the brain. Yeah, rewrite, rewrite them. That's, that's what this devil is trying to do. Mm -hmm. All he's trying to do is rewrite everything that the Most High mm -hmm. you know, created. Mm -hmm. you know, he's trying to rewrite things. He's trying to re. You know, oh, you know, as if the human body wasn't <laughs> wasn't uh, perfected, mm -hmm. you know, as if the most high didn't perfect it. This this devil is trying to basically, you know, hack into it like the brother saying, you know, you know, the, you got uh, the brain uh, neurons, mm -hmm. your neurons send signals to all your organs mm -hmm. and all really everything in your body. And so this devil is basically bypassing those neurons and those connections from the brain. And he's, you know, sending electrical, you know, impulses or whatever. You know, I don't really know. Yeah, that, that's really how it goes. Because mm -hmm. you know? through that artificial intelligence and those brains send, send uh, excuse me, that RFID chip sends uh, different waves. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, these, all this technology, whether it sends radio waves, sound waves, it's the same thing with that chip. And the electrical um, infusion of your brain, it can actually, uh, you know, like I said, rewrite re memories. Because uh, I seen a video where they was talking about 
actually plug in a chip in certain parts of your brain, mm-hmm. whether it's to uh, the creative, the area, the hippocampus, which is, uh, I think it's, that's dictated by creativity and different things, and mm-hmm. it has a, a strong link. So Esau even knows where to put the chip, because mm-hmm. what? They've been doing trial runs on people, man. Yep. Mm-hmm. They see how it manipulates people. They see how to make super soldiers. If I just say, too, okay, you got um, it. if, if brothers have to move up, upgrade. You know, that's a good movie to check out that goes into the chip. The guy was, was paralyzed. You know, he took he basically took the chip to where it, it um it functioned for him. He even had his own um he even talked, you know, mm-hmm. and could, it controlled him basically. Mm-hmm. You know, he cut it on and cut it off when he wanted to and then but and then eventually um the tip the chip took over him. He couldn't mm-hmm. even control it no more. Mm. Yep, that's yep. that and that's the wave of artificial intelligence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can uh, get that get that piece of uh, kind. This is second second Corinthians chapter two verse eleven. It says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." That's right. So we we know we know the the tactics that this devil is up to, the so called white man. You know, being Esau in the Bible. You know, we we know that he's he's getting ready to roll out. His his plans, you know, his new world order, you know, uh, these uh, RFID chips, these different, um, you know, scientific uh, feats mm-hmm. that yeah. that he's that he's you know all the, he's this devil's pouring millions and billions of dollars into research, you mm-hmm. know, into this system, you know, that's how you know he's gonna use it. This devil wouldn't waste all his. This this devil he he's not gonna waste his money. That's for one thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's not gonna put, you know, so much money into this if he wasn't gonna uh, uh, use it, you know, roll it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and everything really is being subject unto the next wave being the uh, mark of the beast, the RFID chip. Because mm-hmm. you have something uh, a tech term uh, known as electronic uh, miniaturization, mm-hmm. meaning that all this technology around us is becoming smaller and smaller throughout the years. Yep. Every year, the the, the laptops are becoming smaller. Well, really, you got cell phones. Mm-hmm. Laptops gonna really be done away with. So, mm-hmm. yeah, and look at your look at your look at the evolution of of the cell phone. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's it you know it used to be uh, about the size of a brick. Headphones. Yeah. You know, headphones. Now you got wireless headphones. Now mm-hmm. it's like, but you, and, and the crazy thing is, you know, too, that you have to realize is the there there's no like breakthrough inventions anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything is already everything, as far as technology, has already uh, uh, you know like such as the internet mm-hmm. and you know uh, uh, different like breakthroughs. Like you really don't have major releases that really change the game. The only major te- technology releases you get is a damn Apple phone, and and that shit ain't changing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've been doing the same thing for the past ten years. Yeah. That's how we know we at the end, end of the days yeah, because yeah. Esau really doesn't have any. More de- developments and technology, but the chippy. All mm-hmm. they're doing right now is uh filibustering with these cell phones. They're mm-hmm. giving you a new buying phone. time. Yeah, buying time. It's the same as the last phone. Little couple tweaks, a better camera. You know, but when they push that that new G, that uh, was that was it five G? Yeah, five G. Yeah. yeah, when they push that five G, that's gonna even require a, a microchipping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, because that's some powerful technology. And Esau is smart because. You got to think, these people haven't seen any breakthrough in a while. Mm-hmm. You know, there hasn't been a, a big technolog- technological breakthrough. Yep. But the chip is going to yeah. be like a new, it's going to change the whole it fucking game. Everybody want it. That 5G, yep. the chip, they're going to, they, because there hasn't, people, Esau is smart. So he, mm-hmm. I got something he's just continuously doing the same thing over and over again. So people are getting bored. Yeah. But this new chip is gonna it's gonna create a new excitement for for people on you know just thinking from a marketing level, you know mm-hmm. you got it, bro. Yeah, because even with that chip, going back to uh, neurotransmitters and it actually stimulating your neural senses, um, it, it's gonna come to the point you don't even have to have sex no more. If you're an individual that has ED, uh, uh, yeah, erectile right dysfunction, mm-hmm. or you're a woman that actually doesn't get pleased, because a lot of these different people are suffering from depression. Mm-hmm. That chip can is gonna, can actually enhance uh, your dopamine receptors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, help you you know you release that, stimulate certain parts of your brain without you actually having to go to a cruise. It can actually um, 
put you in that hologram type of mindset to the point where you don't have to spend two, three thousand uh, dollars to, to go take a trip. Mm -hmm. And so just that, so yeah. that chip is going to mm -hmm. be something that's going to, uh, like I said, it's a device that a lot of people is going to uh, ignore the scriptures and they're going to follow for the for the sake of pleasure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just just imagine how many people are going to jump on board when they find out that, you know, oh, you can you can you mean I can get, you know, uh, uh, ejaculate, you know, multiple times a day. Mm -hmm. You know, and and get pleased, you know, and that's just one example. But you know, ain't no telling what what else this guy has, what else this devil has in store. Okay. But I want you to get that word device, and then uh, you can. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. This is the word devices, because uh, it says we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. G thirty five forty, Naima, Naima, and it says a mental perception, thought, and evil purpose. It says that which thinks the mind, thought, thoughts or purposes. That's right. So we're not ignorant to Satan's evil purposes. Okay. Which, uh, what? Oh, yeah. Keep, you got something? Oh, uh, yeah. In, in the Strong's, it says to cause whoever is devising evil against Yahweh Shah to mm. desist from his purpose and submit himself to Yahweh Shah. Yeah, because really, all, really, it's, it's really his, his purpose is to. Get people away from Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. you know, to to basically uh, be uh, the left hand um, end. Yeah, to to really submit to his system. Mm -hmm. That's why in Revelation fourteen, it says all them that uh, that were with the system, you know, the beast. The beast is actually a whole system, you know. So it's really getting people to to basically. Uh, uh, Sign over their their uh, life. their life, yeah, you know, yeah, ownership. In, in, the, in mm -hmm. the ancient world, when you were a slave, and uh, you would work under uh, another, your master for a number of years, but if you would decide to actually live under that master and you, you wanted to live with him for the rest of your life, then he would stick it all through your ear, mm -hmm. which means to uh, represent yourself as uh, in subjection to him for life. And this is the 2018 style of an awl, a piercing instrument. Cause the all will go through your ear as a, it's basically a toe tag, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. They would they would tag you and put a a a, a, num a numerical syst a numerical number to identify you, and it's the same thing with the chip. And That's we right. we know the number of the beast. It's, it's written in the scriptures. The number is six six six. Showing you it's a bar it's a barcode. It's, it's some type of numerical system that's attached to the beast system, and it, and it's, that's why I said see who they have ears, let them hear. That's right. It's more on what you uh, had. No, that was oh, it. Okay. Yeah. You okay. got it. Yeah. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Mm -hmm. And that beast system is uh, America and its uh, conglomerate uh, allies, France, uh, Sweden, all these different uh Countries have a uh, techno giant, so to speak, technological advancements in them, and they're gonna push the chip also, man. Mm -hmm. That's why even in China they have a, the, a new social credit system. Facial recognition. Yeah, mm -hmm. face, facial recognition, certain uh, identifications. You know, now you can't even get a job, but by your credit system, it's not just filling out an application. They're weaning out the uh, undesirables through uh, technological, uh, basically uh, your, your technological avatar. Mm -hmm. You who you are. It's, it's not good enough. You gotta you know, have a digital self. You gotta have yeah. a digital uh, report yeah. that people could actually um, monitor c closely to see if you're actually qualified for certain positions. Uh, that's right. And yeah, if not, they're, they're gonna delete you out the system. Right. They're gonna block you. Mm -hmm. You watch that on uh, Black Mirror. The show Black Mirror. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, it shows you the future of uh, how technology is gonna uh, basically uh, turn into a dystopian society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, this all this technology we're using is going to be used to actually control and monitor us. Cause see, everybody's happy to use these cell phones and, and and talk on the phone, call somebody from from Florida to California. They're so happy that technology is advanced and not knowing that all this all this is just to to pick up and attract you. Yeah, they don't know the result. They don't know the end result of what it leads to. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, like you said, they they like you know being able to text and FaceTime and all these all these things. But, you know, they don't realize that it's, 
it's it's at their own cost. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's gonna be at your own cost, which is your which 